KLG game was good, everybody. It's your boy, Big Boy John Tabate. I want to do my WWE Smackdown Live review and results. So, you guys know, hit that red button, turn my post notification. Let's get started. Now, all I gotta say is WWE Smackdown Live was so freaking boring. Smackdown Live was boring. This is, uh, we go backstage to Shame Your Man and tell us about the handicap match with Roman Reigns, Raw, and Sad Reigns got so desperate he called on the dead man. Shane goes on about the Undertaker and says they will make Roman make Reigns a dead man at WWE Stream Rules. As well, Shane warns the WWE roster not to get in his bad side tonight. He's pissed. We live from the Mortal Center in Portland, Oregon. As Tom Phillips welcomes us, he's joined by Baron Sanchez and Corey Graves. Okay. Now, let me get on with this match card. Big E and Xavier Woods versus Daniel Bryan and Eric Rowan. We've seen this match already. So, why are we getting this match again? This match, man, I, I promise you, this match didn't even do nothing for me. Says the winner of the match, the... At first, it was the New Day versus Daniel Bryan. Then we got another tag team, six-man tag team match: Daniel Bryan, Ryan, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn versus Big E, Xavier Woods, and Heavy Machinery. I'm tired of these. I, I'm so sick and tired of the six-man tag team match in WWE. Enough is enough. The winner of the match: Heavy Machinery and the New Day. Um, it says, uh, after the match, Heavy Machinery and the New Day stands tall together as Heavy Machinery music hits. The announcer shows us recent happens between Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. Still to come, Cross versus Bailey. If Cross wins, Alexa will receive a title shot at WWE Extreme Rules. We see the Miz backstage walking to the ring. Back to commercial. Two out of three falls. Lions versus the Miz. This match was terrible. This match was just terrible. It says the winner of the match, Elias. I really don't care. Then we go from Nikki Cross versus Bailey. This match, didn't really care about that. Didn't really care. It says the winner of the match, Nikki Cross. It says after the match, Cross celebrates and runs around the ring as Bailey looks on. Cross goes over and celebrates with Corey Graves. Cross wants to use sex in his phone. To call Bliss, who is in Singapore with the red brand. Cross celebrates continues. Terrible. I don't care. Then we see Amber Moon versus Sonya Deville. We saw this match like last week. And then we get this match again. This match was just terrible. But I'm glad to see Amber Moon on SmackDown Live. I was surprised. So, says the winner of the match, Amber Moon. Okay. After the match, Rose hits the ring to celebrate with with the bill as the music hits. Um, it looks like they're teasing sexual tension between the two. We go, we get another backstage vintage of Alistair Black. He rants about how he, how all he wants is some for someone to come and fight him. Black is stand, standing, staring to the. I mean, Black is staring to think that maybe no one in WWE is the man enough to fight him. Someone suddenly knocks on the door, and Black looks at the door, and then Black at the camera with the signature look. We don't see who's knocking. Okay. Alistair Black, why don't you go feud with them? Feud with them. You know what I'm saying? The, Alice, but they'll just go feed with them. Don't wait for them to come to you. Feed with them. That's all I got to say. You said you're doing the exact same thing which you did last week. Enough is enough. Go feed with them. That's all I got to say, Alice. But get it together. All right. Do you guys agree with me in the comment section that Alice but should go after somebody else? He don't have to wait till somebody come to him. So that's all I got to say. Then we get a two out of three false match. Dolph Ziggler versus Kofi Kingston. we seen this match time plenty of times this match didn't do nothing for me either this match was garbage and then then we get uh it says the winner it says the winner of the match the winner of the match Kofi Kingston won the first fall um 
We went on the match Kofi Kingston. The, at first it was Kofi Kingston won, then Dolph Ziggler won, and then it says um, Kofi Kingston is the winner. It says, after the match, the New Day music hits as Kofi stands tall with the title. We go to the replay. Kofi hits the corner of two posts. Kofi goes to the ringside and runs around the ring, greeting fans in front of them. In the front row while raising the title in the air, SmackDown Live goes off the air. But like I said earlier, SmackDown Live was just boring to me. It was just boring. Boring and it, it was just boring. Garbage. Awful. So that's all I gotta say from here. But you guys uh let me know in the comment section what you guys what you guys think um about SmackDown Live because SmackDown Live was just terrible. Like some some of the matches I don't even care about. But I'm glad we saw Finn Balor and backstage. We saw Finn Balor being interviewed, so the Intercontinental Champion interview, and we all asked him, well, "Where is Finn Balor? Where, where is Amber Moon?" Amber Moon and Finn Balor was on SmackDown Live, which is I'm glad to see them. So it is what it is. Then, um, then here comes Shinsuke Nakamura pointing the Intercontinental Championship. Um, to my, I guess, I guess Finn Balor versus Shinsuke Nakamura at a stream rules for the Intercontinental Champion. You know what I'm saying? What does Shinsuke, which, what has ever Shinsuke, what does Shinsuke ever done to deserve an Intercontinental Championship? Absolutely nothing. Nothing. That's all I gotta say from here. But like I said earlier, SmackDown Live was just, was just garbage, boring, and god awful. You know what I'm saying? We see the Miz versus Elias. I'm so sick and tired of that. Then that, once that match is over, Elias beats the Miz, and Shaman Man, the, um, Shaman Man and Elias beat up the Miz. Just terrible. Then we see the backstage with R Truth and Carmella, with the twenty four seven champion, talking. I mean, yeah, talking to Drake Maverick, calling him Horn Swoggle. Why would you? Why would you compare Horn Swoggle? Why would you? Why would you compare Drake Maverick to Horn Swoggle? I don't understand that, so I don't really don't care about this about this show. Smack the Live was boring. It was god awful. That's all I gotta say from here. But if you guys enjoy my SmackDown Live, if you guys enjoy my WWE SmackDown Live review and results video, give me give me 30 likes on this video. Comment down below what you guys think think about SmackDown Live. Share the video. Um, KFG family, I talk to you guys later. I talk to you guys tomorrow on my NXT review. Um, this your boy, Bubba Giant Five, KFG family. Have a great night. See you guys later. I'm, see you guys tomorrow on my NXT review, and I'm out. Peace out.